magnesium about 45 percent of the population is low we're checking iron levels which is again this is something doctors don't check they check your blood count but they don't check your iron stores and they also miss them we can talk about that in a minute yeah and there's a, you know there's a, both iron deficiency but also iron excess that's common in the population it's a genetic condition uh, called hemochromatosis and which i have yeah Very which basically means you store iron so you you, if you're eating iron from your diet, you absorb it more and you don't have a way of regulating how much comes in. So you just build up iron and then you rust. And about 10% of the population has that and we're picking that up. And then you can, you can treat it easily. All you need to do is give a blood draw. Mm -hmm. But if you, don't, if you don't, it's like donate your blood. But if you don't do that, you end up rusting. You get liver cirrhosis, you get heart failure, you get arthritis, you get dementia, you get all these horrible things that happen which yeah. are completely avoidable if you just learn you what you have. Know. Yeah, and this is such a simple thing. And and again, it's part of the standard panel. And iron deficiency affects, you know, a huge portion of the population. Um, and then we also look at omega-3 levels, which are really important. And people don't realize that 90% of us are deficient. It's critical for our brain health. 60% of our brain is from omega-3s, mood, attention, inflammation, skin, hair, nails, all related to that. I mean, I got really hard nails because I take omega-3s. Uh, so there's a, there's a way to check for your nutritional status that people are missing. Homocysteine, very important test. Again, never check. It's a marker of your B vitamin status, B12, folate, mm. B6. These are things that, that are common deficiencies. And are those affected by if you have the, um, what we call the motherfucker gene? The yeah, I, I can't even say that, but you said it. Yes, <laughs> yes. So this is a gene called MTHFR. And then if you want to say it, it yeah. sounds like what you said. <laughs> and and essentially, it's it's a gene that's about 30 to 40% of the population. And it means you have trouble converting the folate from your diet into the active form of folate that runs all the biochemistry, regulates your gene expression, your transmitters, your detoxification, everything. And, and so you can check for the problem with this with a blood test called homocysteine. I'll just tell you a quick story. We had a uh, this wasn't a function patient before function, but this would have been picked up. Mm -hmm. She she had miscarriage after miscarriage after miscarriage. Mm. And when she even had a, a baby with anencephaly, which means no brain. So the baby's born, but it's got no brain. Wow. Horrible. And uh, she read an article I wrote about methylation, this process of you know B vitamin metabolism. And uh, she went to her doctor and said, I want you to check my homocysteine. He's like, oh, I don't know what's that. Okay, all right, I'll do it. He did it. He's like, oh, it's high. Oh, he says, oh, you need, you need to take folate. She's like, no, no, no. In Dr. Hyman's article, it says take 5-methylfolate, which is the active form. <laughs> and so she took that, and then she ended up having this gene, this MTHFR gene, and she wow. ended up taking this vitamin and ended up having this beautiful baby that was so oh. amazing. And so she stopped having a miscarriage, and it was as simple as that. It was as simple as that. So yeah. um, I've seen this over and over again. It's, it can cause depression, it can cause miscarriage, it can cause all sorts of issues, heart disease, dementia, and it's easily treatable, taking some B vitamins that are literally pennies a day. So a lot of things are fixable, and, and it's not smart to wait till you already have something going on, right? Yeah. Like by the time you have a symptom, it's late. Yeah. You know? Yeah, your body's already like turning on the signals to say, hey, something's going on here. We have a great, we have a great biology. We compensate, 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 compensate until we can't. Yeah, and, and then disease and, sets and then, in. Yeah, and we see this all the time in medicine, but most people don't realize they have a an option to really up-level their health and they don't have to walk around with what I call FLC syndrome. You know what that is? <laughs> no. It's when you feel like crap. <laughs> there's a more serious version, it's called FLS. I think there's a pretty <laughs> big... <laughs> but, yeah. There's a pretty big part of our population that has that syndrome right now, I think. Yeah. 100%. And, and, and it's <laughs> fixable. Like, and so... You know, you don't you don't know what to eat. You don't know what, what lifestyle recommendations you should follow. You don't know what supplements to take. You don't know what you should be looking at. And with function, you really have sort of a co-pilot for your health. Yeah. And a co-pilot even for your doctor. Well, and it's cool, like I said, because now people can go somewhere and it's all in one place and they don't have to do digging and research to figure out what to test because so many of these doctors are not testing these markers. And you said this earlier, I will tell you, you'll love to hear the story. When I went in last year to get my, my labs, the Quest nurse that was taking my blood started asking me about, she was like, who's your doctor that's ordering this? She goes, I see hundreds of people come in these doors a day and I, no one ever draws this much blood for yeah. this many markers. Yeah. And so I was telling her about function and she was like, what they're doing is really cool because no one's testing for no, this no stuff. Is. I mean, I've been doing it for 30 years. And if people are, can, you know, 
get an appointment with me, that's great. They can have that experience. But yeah. what about the other, you know, 300 million plus people in America? I mean, exactly. So it's really time we kind of disrupt the healthcare system by by giving people agency and understanding of their own body yeah, and use that information to improve their health and to prevent disease and to feel better. It's just, it's just sort of a no brainer, but I don't know why no one's ever done it before, but I guess it's sort of like Uber, you know, the technology wasn't ready. Everything wasn't, you know, you needed all these things to happen, payment systems and GPS systems and all this stuff to kind of create an app where you could like do something like that.